the Inland Empire's home for NASCAR. Fox Sports 1350. KTDD San Bernardino. An iHeartRadio station. Yo, what up? This is Send Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet all day long, all day strong. Yeah. You heard? This album is dedicated to all the teachers that told me I never amount to nothing. Yes, we are live. To all the people that lived above the iHeartRadio Studios, IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports. 1350, I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. How, how are you feeling today, Eternal? But yeah, you know, let me tell you something, man. I am I am ready to rock and roll. Great Saturday morning, man. Uh, fresh off uh, the uh, the Inland Valley, excuse me, the Boost Mobile mm-hmm. Inland Valley. Where you at? <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> uh uh, the Boost Mobile Inland Valley uh, Soccer All Star Classic. The fresh off that it took place on Sunday. Um, just had a wonderful time. Historic game. The girls, and you know what, man? Not to cut you off, but I, I've come to realize that the girls' game is a little more popular and it's a little more intense than the boys' game. Because you think about, I don't. Do you think it, it has to do with the World Cup? Because the girls have won. Yeah. Well, you know, I think that you know we, we've we've seen it. And these ladies, uh, they're not. They want to make sure they're not taking a back seat. So. They're giving a, you know, they, you know, like they say, man, you want to show up to where it's hard to, you make, you make it a hard act to follow. Right, and you know what the funny thing is, is this, th- this year we did the second annual basketball classic, yes, um, and then we did the the first annual soccer classic, and, and I don't know what it is about the girls, but they take the game a little more serious than the boys. I don't know, maybe it's because the boys are used to the accolades, but girls, they really fight hard. And I'll tell you right now, I have a daughter, equal pay. <laughs> Equal pay, U.S. Soccer Association. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, yeah, but uh, no, no, it's, it's uh, again, we had a wonderful time. But big up to my man, Greg Holland. He's playing some um, some B.I.G., man, you know. Rest you know, in peace. Yeah, you, you know, you already know, man. Uh, they it, the, the argument is still out there about, uh-huh. about you know, who's, who's the best, you know, B.I.G. or, or Pac. But you already know I'm going to say Pac all day. Cause. Exactly. Unless you're a rock him. When you can just make a classic album that's ageless, right? You can't be considered the greatest of all time. Exactly. I mean, you know, and, and, and don't don't get it twisted. Big stuff is 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 is, is heat. Uh huh. But like I always tell people, when you when you go to a young lady's house, who, who's picture they got on the wall? Hey, there you go. That's what I said. Come with me. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but but you know. What? Oh, go ahead. No, I'm saying it's going down. Uh, we're we're right here smack dab in the middle of, of the NBA. Uh, playoffs, Coach B. A lot of stuff is happening. First, I thought the season was over, man. The Lakers I, ain't playing. But let me tell you something, though. On the, the Lakers, Lakers are done. No, 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 we're not. We're making. They're relevant, still playing this year. We're making relevant news because right. the the balls. I mean, the, the the lottery balls were out there. It, I was kind of bugging on that. I'm, right, right. I'm used to, I thought we were going to see the the, the the balls being picked out of the thing. Yeah, I, you I know, know, they stopped doing that a couple of years back. It's all done in secret, and that's why the conspiracy theories are out there. Right, exactly. And <clears throat> uh, you think, but but think about it. They said that in, in history uh, of the draft, a team with the, the percentages the Lakers had of getting a top three pick, the percentages were against the Lakers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And no then all it. of a sudden this year, they it falls in their favor. Man. So it makes you think, is there a fix? It was uh, I, I'm I'm very used to seeing you know when they reach in there you see the lottery balls right. and they're gone and they and they, they you know I'm, to me that felt more authentic it, right exactly um, because you think if the Lakers would have lost that pick Philly could have had the oh one man and, and the two the, the two or the three or the, or the three exactly so right that was uh could you imagine oh man you, you talk about somebody in there they they had the right guy in there right uh um I, my man uh. I can't. Th- I know it's not it's, Sterling it's anymore. No, no, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about our oh, guy. Oh, Mitch Kupchak. Mitch Kupchak. Because he, he had the poker face on. Right, right. Where, anybody else would have been sweating. Right, right, I know right. I'd, have, I'd have been in there. You know, I would, I would have needed a drink or something. Like, Hold on, time out, time out. Give me something. Give me some cognac. You'd have been you know? a little nervous. Oh, so. man, I would have been in there sweating. And you know what? People are flipping out. But I'll tell you this right now. Yes, when sir. you look at the body of work, I want Ingram. Oh, I yeah. want Ingram is an outside shooter. That's what we need. Right. Ingram is on. He's the one with the seven foot wingspan, right? Yes. That, so that's that's what I, I want. Ingram Simmons. Simmons is okay, but well, Ingram. Uh, well, he, he's, I think he's better than okay. I think Simmons is legit. But it, you just look at what we need as right. a, as a, as a team. Right. We need uh, Ingram. We need an Ingram kind of player where right. he can develop into being that like that. Uh, uh, you know, almost like Kevin Dudu, where he's out there. He can. You know, he can obviously take advantage of of, of the inside game, but right. also has a has an outside game that you have to you have to you have to deal with. And the thing about Ingram, he's played four years under Coach K. Yeah. He's coachable. Is, it, is that four years? Uh, 
I'm about to say that was one no, year. No, he played more. He played one, one year. No, okay. he's one and done. Well, he's, he's done. coachable. Yeah. You know, he's been on the Coach K which system. Is, which is great. You know, you know yeah, you and, and that's the thing about it. That's what we need. We need a player like that. That that can Agreed. come into the system and 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 fit in, especially with a, a, a rookie a rookie coach a rookie head coach is uh-huh. coming in. You uh-huh. know, even though he's had some experience, he's still a rookie coach. We're talking about Luke Walton, but again, you know, it's the, the NBA draft, uh, the lottery went down, so the, the LA Lakers will have the second pick. Uh, really excited about that because it looks like Philly's going to go. They're going to do some kind of something's going to happen where they're going to grab my man from uh, LSU. Uh huh. Um, and it looks like you know we'll you know we will be uh, we'll be in position to get my guy Ingram from Duke. And you are correct. I stand correct. Corrections and retractions. So so Ingram was a, a he was a freshman guard six nine. He's only one ninety. And they're my calling goodness. him a guard. Yeah, the guard slash forward. Okay, I about so to say the three. Six, nine. They had him well, in the three. Hey, Irvin Buck Johnson was six nine. Yeah. Well, I, I mean. He's not gonna. I mean, here I'm you just go. saying. Here you go. I'm just saying. You see someone six <laughs> nine, you get it. You know. Yeah. And, hey, and it says, Urban Buck and, it, Johnson. And, it, and it says, and it says, uh, and it says, uh, guard by the name. You start going. You start getting flashbacks to the little shorts. Exactly. But you know the thing about it, and 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 now because you have the the dynamic of the Steph Curry's that yes, can sir. come up and shoot, as well as our what you guy, mean come up and shoot. That boy just yeah. He just turns. Well, we can he bring just, the ball up and shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. And, and you know, and, and, and you know, he can shoot the ball, turn around, start running up the court. I mean, and, could you? I would. I would. Let me tell you something. If somebody did that to me, shot the ball and turned around, I would chase them. It tripled. It tripled. Oh no, <laughs> you know, you ain't, gonna, uh, you ain't gonna do that to me, man. That is just, oh, but that's you ridiculous. Know, but like I said, it's, it's when you have people like that in these new systems. Yeah, everyone needs to be able to handle the ball. I think yeah, the guy that really pioneered that was Scotty. You know, yeah, I think Scottie so. Yeah, coming up and 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 bringing the ball up that, that created a serious yeah. serious issue. Exactly. Oh yeah. Exactly. Agreed. Because you think about it, when you were with the Lakers, I mean, Derek Fisher didn't really handle the ball a lot. No, line. no. You know, he, he didn't bring he it was, up. He well, he brought it up. I mean, sometimes, but you still like in hot moments. You already know Kobe's getting the pill. I mean, right. he's getting the full court. So right. Yeah. And, agreed. And, and in studio today, we have the uh, the Special Rancho Belago Cowboys. I know you're oh, excited yeah. about that. Oh boy. Oh, but boy. once again, this hold is, up, hold up. This is IE Sports that on. Fox Sports Radio, iHeart Media, Riverside. But you know what? I, this is gonna. I'm gonna. I got it. You know, my daughter. She's not gonna like this, but it is what it is. But I'm gonna say this right now. Okay. We hung out what about a year or two ago in Riverside with Petros and Money. Yes. So you know what? My daughter doesn't. She said you don't challenge people with this, but we're we're gonna have to do the Running Man challenge. And Petros and Money, I put you guys on challenge. Uh oh. You know we're gonna have to oh. do that video. Okay. So Petros and Money, we're challenging you out here in the <laughs> Inland Empire. <laughs> Petros, you know, USC guy. <laughs> hey, well, you know, you don't want to get us because uh, you know that's it. That's in our comfort zone, right? You right. Know what I mean, you know, we, you know, so we can get creative. Well, my daughter doesn't think so, man. My daughter sees uh, me dancing, and she's just like, "Oh, uh, let me tell you something. Wait till they, you know, we can get." She you. don't know. We'll, let me tell you, we're not new to this, right? We're true to this, exactly. So exactly. that's that's what we'll, we'll just put that out there like that. Uh, again, uh, big stuff going on. Uh, we're slap dab in the middle of uh, baseball season. We got to go get some tickets, uh, Coach B. We got to make sure we give some tickets away because uh-huh. we got a lot of stuff going on out here, folks. If you guys ever want to get a baseball experience, um, you you can do that. I mean, we got the we got. Oh, the there's the running man challenge. That's what I'm talking about, Greg Holler. <laughs> <laughs> Petro, some money. We're coming for you. <laughs> we go. We go. And I'm calling out next. <laughs> right, right. Absolutely, man. <laughs> That's funny. But, no, what's going down, man? Uh, so, we have uh, – if folks want to go enjoy some baseball, you guys can do that locally here. Uh, right, we got right. The, we got the Quakes, who are the Dodgers. basically the, the, the Dodgers trip, the, uh, double-A team. Right. Right. Uh, I, I don't, don't don't get me yeah, don't start me yeah, right right <laughs> uh, and then you have the you, you got the uh, you got the sixty sixers out there in San Bernardino and they're the, the angels and they're the angels then you also have at Lake Elsinore yep yep I believe they're the Padres yeah so, and then you have a team up in the high desert as well yeah the man, Lancaster so I team. mean yo know, so there, there's uh, there's plenty of baseball out there for you folks I'm ready to get out there we got to get that softball thing going man I I want to. I want to do that, man. I think we could. I think we need to. We need to see if we can hook that up over at the San Manuel Stadium. I I agree. Put somebody I agree. out there and see if we can challenge somebody, man. Are we ready to uh, like we challenge Petros and Money? Yeah. For, <laughs> we about to. Oh my goodness, man! You, you want to see the running, man? Right. Right. right? Um, but uh, so what we're gonna do? I think because you say you about to, you about to go pay some bills or something. Yeah, like we're that. gonna pay some bills. As a matter of fact, speaking of the uh, the quakes. 
I know we want to talk about this. Uh, the pitcher, I, I'm uh, last name Ryu. I'm not. I'm, he's oh, a Dodger. Ryu. Ryu. There you go. It's almost he like last night. Speed fighter. Yeah. He pitched last night. Is that for right? The, uh, for the Quakes. For the, for the Quakes. Wow. I was coming up the 15 freeway and I saw the uh, the sign. Oh wow. He's doing a rehab assignment. Oh yeah. So he pitched last night See, for and, the Quakes, and, which is a great thing. I mean, you. I mean, folks that are Angels fans. I mean, pool host has been down here. Mm-hmm. You've had your man Mike Trout for the Dodgers. We've had our our, our guy, our ace uh, pitcher. Um, my man, the left Kershaw, uh, Clay, Clay. He oh was my there, goodness! Yeah, Kershaw. Remember when yeah. Manny Manny World was Manny, here? Manny went down he, there. I think we were the 66ers at the time when Manny World was out. Yeah, here. yeah, man. And he so, played. He played for the. 66ers. So I mean, you know, you know, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on out here. But I, again, Coach B you said we're going to get ready to go pay some bills. Man. Yeah, I reached out to the to the 66ers PA guy. He was on last last year. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got to I got to get him on again. Yes, sir. Have him call in and talk a little bit about 66ers. But yeah, we're going to pay some bills. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to get my running man ready. We got oh, the music. Oh my goodness. So let's give do us, this. You, man, give us a week. We're going to come back. Man, let me we're gonna you. We're going to make it happen. Man, let right me here you. in the iHeartMedia Riverside in the, studio. In the studios, we're going to break go. that down. Guaranteed. You're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. <laughs> I was ready to do, I was in there doing the running band. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Right here live on Fox Sports 1350. There you go. You're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sportsnet, every Saturday morning, 8 a.m. What's up? This is Nick Young of the L.A. Lakers. You rock me at IE Sportsnet. The Inland yeah. Empire Sports Authority. Yes, we are live with this IE Sports Net. IE Sports Net coming to you live from the iHeartRadio studios. Connected by Boost Mobile, it is IE Sports Net. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. I think that, that, that name is fit. I mean, that song is fitting. We talked about this before. Well, you know, I mean, we've been running that. Uh, Big up to my man Greg Holler. He's always been uh, hooking us up, man, with the uh, the we you know, we them boys joined. I mean, you know, it's, it's only official Cowboys. <laughs> you know, I, I tell him, I tell him, we're not a squad, we're a nation. Oh, um, you know, it's, it's it's you know, you know, if, if I, when's the last time we won a Super Bowl? Let's not talk about that. Right, right. Let's right. talk about whose box office, as my man Stephen A. would say. We we all up in the video, right, right, dancing. You know, all on Channel Eleven. While you know, while, while everybody else's team, you gotta you gotta have all kind of. Bootleg cable, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta do all kind of weird stuff to your wire just to make right. sure you can watch your yeah. team. Whereas all you gotta do is turn on Channel Eleven and the, and the team with the stars on their helmet. They, right. Sometimes I get a little emotional. I don't right. know if I'm crying right well, now. But you know, know, the, you know, them Cowboys. They're such a hold on, man. I, I need a take little, your time. I, but you know, the funny thing is, once a year, I'm a USC guy. Okay. Once a year, I make the pilgrimage, yeah. guaranteed, and I go to the land of Troy. No doubt. Uh, have you been to Jerry World? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But let me tell you something. Let me tell you what Jerry Jones did. That's cricket. Okay, that's right. That's right. But let me tell you what Jerry Jones, what, what he did for people like me who have not made the pilgrimage to Jerry okay, World. Okay, talk to he me. Used to bring, he used to bring the squid out out there to Oxnard. Right, right. They're no longer coming to Oxnard. The Rams are there now. The Rams ran them off. The Rams said well, this they, is they, Well, they're only there because of Jerry. You know that. That's true. If you Jerry that, brought them to Jerry, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oil money. <laughs> Threw that oil money out there. We digress. So, uh, so, I digress. But, yeah. but in, in the house, uh, we have... Uh, Rancho Balado. Man, you know, uh, we, our guest here, I'll, I'll just tell you some background. Uh, what, but when Coach B and I, we went out to visit him at his practice. You got we, excited. Well, I was excited because I just saw the, all the doubt. Of, everybody had the Weedham boys, the stars out there. I we brought tissue. Just to, we brought oh, man, little, I, yeah. you, I almost wanted to do the President of the Legions right there. Right. <laughs> he needed just, a hug. You know. proud, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, I, w- I was asked, I said, Coach B, you know, who's the brother we're going to talk to? And I should have known. I should have I should have known who it was because this brother was out there with the whistle. With he's the out, hat. With the hat. I mean, he's out there rolling around. He was out there. I mean, he's getting after it. I mean, these kids were excited. Had the kids fired up. Had the young ladies out there. I mean, everybody was out there getting it in. As you know what's funny, when he calls me, he doesn't say players. or, or t- He just say, we them boys. <laughs> <laughs> that might need to be on his helmet, right? Uh, uh, brother, if you, if you would be uh, kind enough, Coach, to please introduce yourself to the IE Sportsnet audience. All right. I'm honored to be here. This is uh, Coach Richard Malcolm, Vice President of the Rancho Belago Cowboys. We them boys, baby. 
Yes, sir. And he, and he brought, and he bought, I mean, I was going to say all three of them. Like, like he brought three boys. He brought nine. <laughs> is it nine of y'all in here? One, two, good. Count it up for us, fellas. It's eight? It's yeah, eight. So eight, eight student athletes. Yes. Uh, and, and he used the word student athletes. I just really like that, man. There you that, go. Man. You uh, can't beat that. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Coach, uh, talk to us a little bit about, um, you know, you're here today. But I don't, do, do you know everybody who, who you brought here today, Coach? Oh, yeah, I got them. Okay, all, all right, here go, man. Let's, 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 you know, call out, call out some names real, for us, real quick, names. Coach. All right, so check it out. We got Bad Habit Son in the background, Little Emerald. Bad Habit is the one that did our little anthem. Okay. Now, next to you, we got our man Turtle. We don't really know Turtle's real name. We all call, <laughs> call him Turtle. You know? Then uh, we got my man, my quarterback right here, Mr. Ronnie Jones. Okay. I got my man in the back. Now, my man right here, his name is Josiah. But see, I coached his brother a long time ago. Okay. His brother was called Shaq. Okay. We call him Baby Shaq. Baby Shaq, all right. Baby Shaq okay. right there. Then next right here, we got my man Darnell. Darnell been with me for about three seasons. He's, okay. He's my ride or die guy right there. Okay. Right behind him, we got my man Little Williams. Where you at, Williams? Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. That, that, we said Williams. And then in the background, we got a new guy that came to the program, Kamal, okay. in the back. And then, can't forget my baby boy, okay, Jalen Malcolm right here. Jalen Malcolm. Okay, no <laughs> doubt about it. Well, Coach, man, we, we really appreciate you coming in. Uh, now, again, with a great foundation here, talk about um, your success with this youth football program and how, you, you know, obviously you decided to do it again, but talk about your decision to do it again, but with the Rancho Belago Cowboys. Man, it was real easy. I mean, uh, last season we linked up with my guys, Next Level Bears down in K, you know, in Moreno Valley, KB, uh, Coach Q and Trey. And, uh, you know, we turned over and began the Blue Bears. We were Blue, Blair, Blue Bears at the time with right. AAU. And, uh, man, all five teams was good. Four out of the five made the playoffs. So it was kind of like our family wanted, you know, it was our first time ever merging with another program. Right. We had been Rancho Belago Panthers for, for, for like five, six seasons. Right. So a lot of our parents just said, Malcolm, can we, you know, are we going to go back home? So I said, you know, if y'all want to go back home, we could do that. You know what I mean? So we just, in, in going back, you know, it was going to be the Panthers, but in honoring our brothers down in Marietta, because, you know, they were called the Panthers in AAU. Right. We decided to change the name to the Cowboys. Okay. You know, the story I, goes from there. I got that. I like that. So, again, uh, Coach, we got a chance to see you um, in action uh, oh, yeah. over at the park uh, a couple of weeks ago. And, again, you could just see the energies out there. Um, mm -hmm. Talk about, the, you know, maybe the, the challenge of having to start right now just with, you know, just from, again, those those five teams you spoke about and then how you're going to build with this uh, Rancho, Belago, Rancho Belago Cowboys team. Well, you know, a lot of it comes from our student athletes. Uh, truth be told, they go out and they recruit for us. Um, I've been honored to go into a couple of my guys' classrooms. I mean, I'll tell you right here, a guy in the back, Kamal, we got him out of being in the classroom while I was watching over Ronnie and Darnell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So while I'm tracking my guys in class, I end up picking up about four or five guys yeah. just by going to the classroom. So by marketing on Facebook and the Moreno Valley uh, group chats and things like that, getting our name out to the community is where we're actually making some strides. I mean, every week we're getting new kids, so it's a beautiful thing out there. Certainly. And once again, you listen to IE Sports then on Fox Sports 1350, iHeart Riverside. And you know the funny thing is, is Coach, I, I know your brother, and it's fun. you talk about this is me and your brother talk all the time, and he says, man, when he's out with you, it's like you always asking kids, how old are you? How old are you? And your brother be like, man, dude, can we just <laughs> get him hang out? You know? But uh, your brother speaks uh, highly, uh, and, and, highly. And, and, and what do we say about that, Coach ABC? Hey, man, it's called recruiting, baby. Yes. There recruiting. you go. There you and, go. Uh, I just did it last night at Target. Can't stop. There you go. And <laughs> big ups to my boy Cliff. Uh, you know, he, your brother, he said that, you know, you're a mentor. And you're always reaching out to these kids. And you said it in the sentence without even thinking about it. What is it about you and coaching these student athletes and doing? Because we need more people in the community to do that. Why, why is that so important to you? I mean, a lot of these kids don't have no fathers in the home. And, and truth be told, they're being raised by single moms or grandmas or granddads. And so for me, I'm recognizing that, you know, they need our help a lot more. Before I've been coaching, like I said, I've been coaching for over 20 years. And it's always been about just the aspect of coaching with a little bit of mentorship in there. Now that I'm older, it's all about making sure that we, we create this rite of passage for these young guys and get them right on and off the field. So that's kind of like my mission right now. It's just getting these guys' heads on straight, the behaviors right, making sure they talk yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, and be productive in the community. And I, I think you, you we're going to classify you as a repeat builder. <laughs> you, know, you, you, you started the Falcons. You started the Ravens. Um, what is it about 
creating a new program and a new ex, uh, organization that gets you excited and makes you want to keep because I, I i started and built the lancers the fontana right. lancers right. what is it a, i mean it, I, I know the amount of effort and work for, for to be honest uh eternal what you have to do is you have to tell your wife hey man I'm, we, we're gonna separate for about <laughs> right? six months right it's going you know, down right yeah, yeah right your living room, <laughs> yeah your living room is oh, a mess yeah. oh, you yeah. know you have oh, yeah. helmets and you i have a three-car garage that i couldn't during football season <laughs> i couldn't use as well as a living room oh, no. that i couldn't and, and the wife believe me uh brandy thank you for putting up with man. that and uh, congratulations to you man you said you had your anniversary yes, yesterday yes oh, congratulations. man congratulations she's dealt with man. me for 16 years man man uh, and, 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 and look what he said she's dealt with him yes, right. yes. honorable man honorable man uh so i appreciate that love my wife brandy errington uh but you know what is it about that that gets you excited that wants you to do that man brother you know, <laughs> that's a very good question. You see, I had to say, I had to take a deep breath. Yeah, take a deep yeah, breath real quick. quick. I always wanted to get him about something. He's thinking about some water real quick. Wait a minute. Where's he the water at? He started to sweat. <laughs> sweat up here. You know, nah, man, you know, it, it's been a journey, though, on, on the real, man, with the Falcons. You know, before the Falcons, they were called 49ers. Uh -huh. and they were I remember that, man. I remember that. I remember that. So I honor uh, those those brothers and sisters out there that held that program down for many moons. But when I came to Moreno Valley and I, I ended up taking over the program, you know, everything is marketing with me. So, you know, Michael Vick was hot yep. and um, Falcons was hot. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up changing the name to the Falcons and then did, did like three more years with them. Did some great things with, with my Falcon brothers. And we're doing, we're continuing to do that, create that relationship now. I mean, some of the guys are at my camp this morning. That's good. That's um, good. Ravens, same thing. And, and you talk about, you know, what, what gets me getting these other programs up. Man, Moreno Valley has grown. Yes, it since, is. To, since 2002. Oh, man, huge. I mean, from 100,000 people, residents, to now over 300,000. So right. there's a lot of kids to go around. You know, for me, everybody says, you know, at this time that we take everybody's leftovers. Well, I tell you what, give them to me. <laughs> yeah, I heard right, that. You know, I, I rather, heard I'd that. I'd take your leftovers. My daddy's always say that, man. And, and coach them up. Yeah, you know exactly. What I'm saying? So exactly. You can't have 20 running backs, 20 quarterbacks. Right. You know what I mean? 20 right. receivers. Right, right. And, and I'm about these kids got to play. Right. right. You know, some say there's too many programs in Marino Valley. I say it's not. Right. Right. I heard that, You know man. what I'm saying? Bring the more the merrier. Speak yeah. not water down, baby. I Speak up. You know what I mean? Just coach them up. Speak up. Yeah. That's how we see. <laughs> How a true coach I'm about is. to give you that. off, man. You know, I, yeah. He said, coach him up. It ain't even Sunday. I'm working. I'm like, man, you, hey, coach, you got an extra helmet over there, man. Yeah, man. I'm ready hey, to go hey, here. Go ahead and get you a star helmet now, baby. We got no to get about you it. a helmet. So you what, know, actually, he probably is going to take you up on that offer. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I'll be out there with them kids. Hey, so here's what I want to do. I want to have at least, I want to have these kids come up and and at least uh, say hi to somebody on the on, on the air real quick. Now 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 I don't want to say not say hi to your whole entire family. Right. Say hi to somebody. Say hi to somebody special. So so kids, I'm gonna have y'all line up. All right. Want to have y'all line up? Y'all gonna go get a chance to go on live one on the air. One. One by them one. boys say, on the radio. And, right. and, and say hi to somebody on, on the air. Somebody special. Go ahead, right here, man. Right. Oh man, here. All right. Who's Look, first? Who's first? Shy, we got some shy people. Who's first, man? Y'all was all talking about we gonna be on the radio. Hi, Grandma. Our, hi, Auntie. What's your name? Darnell. All right, Darnell. All right, all right. Go, say go, hi, see? Grandma first. All right, here we go. Go ahead, man. Who's next? Come on, Ronnie. Hi, Mom. This is Ronnie on Radio Station. All right, that's right, Ronnie. Hi, Mom. This is Kamar Williams. All right, there you go. Go ahead. Hi, Mom. It's Izzy. I love you. All right. Hi, Mom. It's Jordan Williams. Ah. Hi, it's Josiah. Mm. So. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. Hi, Jordan. All right. What's your name? What's your name? There you go. All right. Hi, Mom. This is Emerald White. All right. That's, That's what I'm talking up, about. Man. That's what I'm talking about. Big, uh, but again, Coach, uh, again, thank you, man, for... Uh, for for, uh, for what you're doing, man, and uh, I know you. I know you, you can't do it by yourself. I know you got a. You know, a group we, of... before you, I, I, it sounds like you're gonna wrap down. But no, no, no. Before no. we do that, can, can I can I please, throw something in? Please, it? please. Now, this is what we're excited about, and this is we can can we announce it? Oh, set it off. Can I can I get a drum roll? Set it off. Oh, okay. Here we go. You know, uh, IE Sportsnet. You know, we're doing some great things with the Rancho Belago Cowboys. You know, with your your your. We're gonna announce it right now for Put everyone it out there. to know. So you guys have been selected mm. to to grace the covers mm. of the first ever mm. uh -huh. print issue mm. of the IE Sports Net, the magazine hey. fall football hey. issue. Hey. You know, there it is. so Come on so now. so your audience will see 
them boys. Yes, I, I'm sir, really yes, on the cover. I'm looking forward to that cover, Coach. We hey, got to We got to get together, man. Well. Yeah, we got to. Well. We yes. got to get together. We got to get that cover. That cover got to be something like you. Are, you know, it got. Man, it got to have a star on it. <laughs> <laughs> it got to have a star. We on should it. go to Jerry's work. Right? Go to Jerry's work. Get <laughs> yeah. that stuff. Right, right. <laughs> uh, but again, Coach, I tell you what, man. Uh, we just we really appreciate as as Coach B was saying. Um, the fact that you're taking that responsibility, man, which is a responsibility um, to go out here, man, and, and get in these kids' lives and, and do that because you know, it's full time. You know, you got to yes, be there. Yes. You know, it's, it's one of those. And Coach B, he talks about it all the time, man. It's a full time thing, man. You know, you got to be there for these kids. A lot of these kids need extra help, and some and some just need uh, just a little push. Because my know? wife told me many times, you know, you got three kids already. You're already, so, you're already, you know? you're already got some. <laughs> right, right. But you know, I, I got uh, four and a grand. Right, exactly. I heard that. I heard but you that. know, on a serious note, like you said, man, a lot of these kids grow up without dads. You know, and, and, and Eternal knows the story, man. My father, when I when I turned thirteen, he forgot. He had kids. Yeah. Mm, you know, so so we know what it's like. There's there's a there's a definite need in the minority community right. to have mentors, to have someone to show them how to be a man. Because you know, I've made a lot of mistakes and in my relationship dealing with my wife. We talked about oh, yeah. this before. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, and that's one thing about esports. Now I, I feel like I know our audience. I feel like I can share this. Talk talk to them. You know, talk and, to and you know, my wife and I we had a lot of issues because I didn't have a man to teach me how to right. be a man. Oh right. yeah. You know, I learned how to shave on my own. Right. I mean, right. there's a lot of things that I shouldn't have to learn on my own. Right. right. And, and you know, being a mentor and doing, I, I just want to say thank you, brother. It's thank not even you, Father's Day. Oh man. yeah, man. Oh it's yeah. Up. But you know, but that, and let me tell you something. That's the thing. What we have to be able to do is, uh, again, like I said, I know you got a group of dedicated people who help yes. you out, yes. and because uh, again, it, it, you can't do it on your own. Oh no. You know, you can't do it on your own, even if it's just the support you get at the household. I know I get a lot of support, so I'm appreciative of the support I get, and uh, we just got to keep doing. It. And again, we're we're glad to to assist folks like you and this is what this platform is for yep. uh, to mm -hmm. keep uh, to keep uh, again to keep folks like you to keep the awareness out there and again to make sure that we congratulate you guys and uh, let you guys know man we're, we're thinking about you guys and we're here to support absolutely definitely. Rancho Balago Cowboys all in the, in the video dancing yeah, right yes. <laughs> they, they will be the cover story for the uh, the fall issue of Guaranteed. the IE Sports Net for Kids Patricia LaBelle our reporters already already contact you we know that's in motion so we appreciate you guys coming in. I mean, and think about that, Coach. I mean, we got to, you're going to have a featured story. Talk, I mean, how you feel about that, Coach? I mean, I'm excited. Y'all just don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm giddy, man. I'm just, I'm overwhelmed with, with, with joy and, and, and blessed, man, over what we got going on with these Cowboys. Y'all just don't know. Some talk about the negativity in the mobile. I don't. It's right. all about positive. I heard and, that, And man. the brothers that I'm working with, with the Falcons, you know, some of my guys with the Raiders, you know, some of my guys with the IE Hornets. Look, I'm plugging them right, right. now. I'm plugging yes. them. Right. You know, KB down with Next Level. I mean, we are doing things right now that are unprecedented. Right, right. You right. Know what Same I'm with us. Right. And oh, so yeah. when you're dealing with all these multiple programs and we, we're scrimmaging, yeah. you know what I mean? We're chopping it up. We're doing camps together. Right, right. Man, brother, this is a beautiful thing, man. Oh, yeah. And I'm just honored to be in God's glory to actually be able to witness this stuff. I heard man. that, in, in the words of, of Cliff Malcolm, uh, Rich Malcolm gets together with Coach B and Eternal, and we'll do great things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the words yeah. of Cliff Malcolm. <laughs> Cliff, Cliff, Cliff Malcolm, he said it's going to be an explosion. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There That's you go. That's, That's my is, boy, man. man. Big ups to my boy, Cliff. Man. My yes, baby, sir. Yes, big sir. brother. Yes, indeed. So, man, we thank you so much, Coach, for coming out. Thank these young men. Man. Did you thank say my baby, big brother? <laughs> baby That's what Eternal brother. says about oh, his no, brother. No, no, his, I got he has three brothers, and they're all bigger than him. But he's the oldest. I'm the oldest. Yeah. Hey, man, I told him. But, you know, I had to I had to lead him all. I told him I hit you in the start. I said, man, we fight, I ain't gonna fight you fair. I told hey, him that. Hey, real talk. talk. I, hey, hey, I better pick up a stick. Man, brother's too big, man. Oh, yeah, right? something. Something. My dad told me, hey, boy, you better deal with it. But we thank you so well, much. All man. that times you bullied them as kids. Oh, man. Oh, like man. My brother did me. I'm oh, big, man. Big but you know, but I, I, I often I remind them, anytime they get crazy, say, I used to take you around. I don't want to put you on the bike, all that stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, you hey. get scared. I'll be yeah. like, remember all the good stuff I did yeah. for you? <laughs> I'll make sure that I say, hey, hey, wake up. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm glad these young men got a chance to come out here and uh, enjoy the radio experience. Uh, we're looking forward to just to keep uh, keep doing this with you, Coach. We appreciate it. And, uh, man, it's going to be going down, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks you again for coming in. The Rancho Balago Cowboys. I, I think Eternal just hears the word Cowboys. I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I'm, and then there he hears Weedon Boys. So. Yeah, and I'm sold. Yeah, there you go. So, so once again, you're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal. You know when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, right here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com.
the Inland Empire Sports Authority. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sportsnet, every Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Uh, 5 to 1 to the Sierra Vista Dons, the Temesco Titans. Uh, they went down. I mean, actually, they won against the Corona Del Mar Sea Kings. What a name! You know, the, the Sea Kings. My right. Goodness. Yeah, I, I, I've been to that. I've been to that school before. One of my buddy's son played football out there. It's it's a uh, that that's money down imagine. there. When oh, you yeah. have Corona Del Mar in one sentence. Yeah, yeah Del Mar. Uh, yeah. Del Mar kind of says it by itself. Uh, right. Right. Del, right. Hey, I go to Del Mar. Right. Okay. Right. 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 We, we know that's some bread right there. Uh, the, the Citrus Hill Hawks victorious uh, five to four over the Rancho Mirage Rattlers. The San Marino Titans, 2-4 to four over the Gary Vikings. And also we had the Huntington Beach Oilers uh, victorious over our friends of the show, 5-2 to two Santiago, uh, the Corona Santiago Sharks. And if you want to get scores, you know you can always go to iesportsnet.com. Check it out on your desktop. Check it out on your mobile device. Right in the uh, right corner, you will see Inland Empire scores. And up to the minute scores, not oh, yeah. not post game. Oh no no, I'm up talking to about the right minute now. Scores. What was going on in the place called right now? Also, man, special event going on. Uh, we want to make sure we plug this. Uh, uh, Angel star uh, Cole Calhoun will be right live at Pachanga Resort and Casino, and that's going to be taking place on May 26, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. We're going to be out there. Uh, at least one of us will be out there. You know, we got. I, I want to make sure I see. Oh, Cole Calhoun! Right, and and a, and a big one, a big one that we have, and this is and in, in Eternal, you were born and raised in the Inland Empire, and I know you love to see this with like uh, because uh, Riverside Reggie forgot he was from Riverside, <laughs> but uh, but two guys that are proud to be from the the Inland Valley, and they are coming back. Bobby Wagner, Omar Bolden. Uh, will be at Colony High School for their annual camp. That's in Ontario. It's going to be free admission uh, for kids age 7 through 14. Chick-fil-A is providing the uh, the lunch for the kids. So that's going to take place on Saturday, June 4th. Uh, O.B. Wagner, Super Bowl champion. Bobby and, Waggle. And, and Omar Bolden, they're both Super Bowl winning champions. Oh, yeah, guarantee. Yeah, they both he have just got, got a ring. He's now with the Chicago Bears, but he got his rings and things, you know, before he left. So. Right, right, right. So, so I, you know uh, Bobby Wagner probably you should stun on him. Oh, yeah. They're like, hey, uh, you see this ring? Man? Oh, yeah, no. I actually I actually was all up in the game. I think, yeah, because Bobby Wag was doing it, and he's a special player. But but big up to both of those guys, the NFL players. And thank, I mean, you know, and the great thing about that camp, uh, Coach B., uh, we were out there before. They they bring cats out. They you know they brought out my man Orlando Scandrick. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Keith Rivers was out there. So it's it's always it's always a treat, man. Uh, they, and they do a great job. So big up to those brothers. Yeah, it's always good when people come back, especially you know. And we've talked about this before because we're in the process. And that's the one thing that that people have to understand about the Inland Valley Classic. What we do with the Inland Valley Classic, and like you said, this is no disrespect to any other event out there that does things. I mean, we've been fortunate that we've with our connections and our relationships, we've been able to get the sponsors that we need. And uh, we give the kid, it's, we never charge a child. Yeah. Uh, we give them a jersey that they can keep for a lifetime. One of the great things that we saw, and this is this is Coach Rome's doing, is we love to see it at the end of the game, the kids br- pull out the uh, the markers oh, and yeah. sign each other's jersey. It's dope. But our ultimate goal with the Inland Valley Classic, and I was talking to Supervisor Rutherford, uh, about this is our ultimate goal is to make it a foundation where we could do things like that. Oh, we yeah. We can have the camps for the kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, because, you know, we, we understand parents out there don't necessarily have the money, the $300, $400 to send their kids to go to these camps. And some of the best athletes come out of impoverished neighborhoods. And, and, and to your point, that's what Coach Rome talks about a lot is uh, a lot of these games that do charge Unfortunately, you don't get you don't get the talent. Uh, a lot of the, uh, most of the talent. You don't get the best talent. You get the yeah. best parents' checkbooks. Exactly. So, so yeah, you you get Daddy Warbucks instead of Daddy Scoots. Right. You know? Right. Absolutely. So, and that's the one thing that we 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 are the most proud of. Uh, the Inland Valley Classic, which was the brainchild of Coach Rome from A.B. Miller to bring that back. In the two years we've done it, we've done two basketball games. We did the football game. We've done volleyball, girls volleyball, and we've done soccer. To this day, we have yet to charge a player to be a part of the game. And thanks to the gracious support of Fontana Mayor Aquanetta Warren, we award a scholarship to to players who are involved in the game and Fontana uh, Police Officers Association, who was here last week. Uh, we appreciate them and their support as well. So, oh, Supervisor Rutherford, you know, we're keeping our fingers crossed that we have some exciting things coming with her as well. Guaranteed. So, we got, I guess we, we got, I want to come back, man. We want to uh, talk about some NBA playoffs. 
uh, we come playoffs. Back. Exactly, you know what I mean. And so we want to because you know we we started the show off. We talked about the, the lottery, uh, which was we're, we're, we're really excited. Oh, it's so about. depressing to hear the Lakers and the lottery. And yeah, it doesn't. Hey, but just, you know what though? We're we're, hey, we're gonna rebuild. Oh my God. Uh, we're gonna rebuild, and we got some great prospects to rebuild around. Um, um, you know, hey, you know when I saw the the Celtics got number three. And we were still in contention. Right. When I, was, I, when I, I saw we got past four, I was excited. That's what I – exactly. Yes. But you, but then they called the Celtics at, at three. Right. I was like, oh, my goodness. Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? We, we're we're going to get somebody. Somebody right. nice. Absolutely. And, and uh, I want Ingram. Oh, I yeah. want Ingram. Oh, yeah. So, so uh, we, we might have to start the campaign. You know, Ingram come here, you know, start putting the posters and, and, and the billboards up. Absolutely. So you're listening to IE Sports Net. Connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sports Net. Every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m. IE Sports at every Saturday morning, 8 a.m. What's up? This is TJ Ward from the Denver Broncos. you now tuning in to IE Sports. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. <laughs> Not to have diddly dilly dilly d. <laughs> yes, man, we are live right here in the iHeartRadio studios. Sai Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. I have a bold prediction. You can, I, 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 Cleveland. I, I say Cleveland's oh, going to get the title this year. Man. Oh, man. I, I got Cleveland. I, well, you, I, I you know, do. I mean. I, For the land. Your your argument is good. It, 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 thank you, Greg. Oh, Holland. Greg Holland. Thank you, Greg Holland. I appreciate Holland. that, man. Uh, but you know, here goes the, here goes the deal. I, I mean, one thing about it is you got to think Cleveland hasn't been tested at all in the playoffs. The ten and zero Cleveland Cavaliers in the playoffs. And, and, and see, and here goes the deal. And like they like they said, Mike Tyson said it the best. Oh yeah, everything's all good until you actually get cracked. Yeah, you actually ten get and cracked. zero. But you know, the Lakers uh, the Lakers lost one game in two thousand one. Are, they were never. Are you, are you trying to compare? I, I'm just saying. The, the Lakers. I'm with the, just saying. But no, I'm, I'm just saying. You got because the reason why I'm saying that right now is they're not winning because they're playing superior talent. Uh huh. They're playing. They're playing uh, like B and C level talent in well, the in, 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 NBA talent. I is. say this right here, man. When, when when as a coach, you just play who they put. No, on no, the no, 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 no. You know, they, and they hey, they're they're doing what they're supposed to do. No, I, hey, I can't front on that. Don't, don't front on it. My, my 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 position, however, is that they still haven't been tested. But you know, the one thing about it, this is what I can say, is the one thing about it, and you know when the Lakers were in their heyday, the one thing that always frustrated me is the Lakers didn't beat the teams they were supposed to beat. True. You know, so that's the biggest thing is Cleveland's just handling their business. I, I agree. The, and, they, and they look good. I mean, yeah. you got a healthy LeBron, healthy Kyrie out yep. there. You got Kevin Love. I don't know Love. about Kevin Love. His shoulder. He he left the, he left off the bench the other day about the, something the, about the his boy shoulder. Is, he like has a chronic shoulder The boy shoulder is problem. moist. Yeah. He's moist. <laughs> he's he's always been more. Have you ever seen Kevin Love be a, like like out there? Just you look at Kevin Love, and go, oh, he's a monster on defense. Have you ever said that about Kevin Love? You or, know, no. Kevin Love is a. He, I would liken him to uh, Dirk. He he's a Ooh, shooter. No, no, he's whoa, on he's whoa, on the wing. Whoa, Dirk no. is not a defender either. But still, Dirk is gang, not a defender. I know. I can't. Nah, I can't agree with that. Have Dirk, you watched Love? Love can shoot. Love is but, he's but always Dirk, been a shooter. Let me tell you something about Dirk though. First thing, Dirk has a ring. Number one. Number one. Uh huh. And Dirk is a, a, Dirk is a player. He you write about that. He doesn't his defensive skill is not right. He never he's, has been. But but let me tell you what he'll do. He'll go and turn right back around and pop you for forty. Yeah, that's what he would. Kevin but, Love, and he'll do that Kevin consistently. Love in, in, in Minnesota, he would do it too. You got consistently. Think about it. Yeah, Kevin Come Love on, would man. put up. Numbers. He was a, he was a double double guy. Yes, but I'm talking about in the offs in the playoffs. Well, dude, he was in Minnesota. But, so. but, but that's, that's my point yeah. though. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like so so, so I, my my point is that Kevin Love has a history of being soft. We, we would can we agree agree on that? Yeah, yeah, you, you know, it's hard to have that when you think about it. Is because it, two of the best power fours that ever play the game never won. Carl Malone and and uh, Charles Barkley. You know, so but they're Are still they the best. They're, they're still two of the, the greatest. The, I, I would say greatest. Tim Duncan. Okay. Okay. Tim Duncan is probably the greatest. But power I would four, put okay. them up there that they're they're great. And and you think of Dan Marino. Dan Marino yeah. was yeah. probably one of the greatest quarterbacks True. ever. Never Agreed. got a ring. Agree. Oh, no, never I, got a ring. I know. I, I, I follow your position. But we're talking about Kevin Love though. <laughs> 
We talking about well, Kevin Love. Here's the thing. You know what Kevin Love's true problem is. And he likes nuggets. I like nuggets. You know, what, what, what college did he go to? Oh, wow. Here you go. I mean, if you want to really, really, you oh, know. Wow. Here you you know <laughs> Kevin oh. Love was a UCLA Bruin. And I can't believe I'm defending a UCLA. You know what? Breaking breaking news. Uh, the, the, our text line. I just got this. Uh, Brandy Arrington is up. Uh, and she said, you know, I was listening to what you said about putting up with you. And, and she said, she put, yes, Lord. Not L O R D L A W D. Laugh out loud. So so she found she found that to be funny as well. <laughs> I digress. Right. Hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, but but uh, on to the next uh, series, which is, I mean, competitive. I mean, you, you even had players. Uh, from the Cavaliers and the Toronto Raptors that were saying they're watching these, this series. And we're talking about the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder uh-huh. as well as the uh, okay, Golden State. Okay, she's going to get that. They, hey, look, they very well may. However, as as my guy Punch was saying right here, here's something you want to you wanna know about about uh, about the uh, Golden State Warriors. Haven't lost a back-to-back, number one. Mm-hmm. These boys in the playoffs are something to deal with. The, 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 the reality is this. They shouldn't even lost game one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they shouldn't even lost game one was like a toss up, and and they came out there and made sure they made a statement in game two, just going out there and taking them to the backyard and laying it on them with the licking stick. Two words, two words for you. Okay. Boston massacre. I'm a heat. Who won that year? The Lakers game one. The Lakers lost by forty. Okay. Who won the series? The Lakers won the series. Okay. You know, so that's that's so so to be honest with me, when when you look at games and you look at teams getting blown out, I, I don't really put because I told my son about that. I gave him a history lesson. I think it was eighty five when the Lakers won game one in Boston in the Boston series. They lost right. by forty. And everybody wrote the Lakers off, said they're done. Right. But the Lakers that's when you had the sky hook. That's hit, when Buck right. Buck hit that sky oh, hook. Oh man, don't don't give me you emotional. You know, so I I I am just don't saying give me emotional, I'm man. just saying cause cause the thing about it is is every game has a life of its own. I, and, agreed. and the scores don't carry over. Well, here goes the deal. 118 and 91. That's a sufficient whooping right there. I mean, that's what damn near 30. You know what I mean? So the I Lakers mean, lost by 40, but I digress. But, but, but what I'm saying is though, <laughs> here, 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 here's the thing about this. What we have to realize is that OKC has, I mean, in the history of of their franchise, haven't been consistent. Mm-hmm. Kevin Durant, in the history of his career, hasn't been consistent. Right, well, right. He's, well, he's been consistent in terms of his his numbers per se. Right. But in terms of wins, victories, uh-huh. you haven't seen that. You haven't seen that with Russell Westbrook. Both of those players, I really like. I mean, they're must they're, they're must see TV mm-hmm. when they're on. I mean, you want. I mean, Kevin Durant's game is probably the coldest right. in the in the league. Right. I right. mean, his game is just it's incredible right. what, what he's able to do. I mean, but he can't get that done consistently. And then you look at this guy, Steph Curry. I mean, what he does on the court. I mean, this guy is my size. Right. He's maybe. A, 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 a few centimeters taller than the kid, and he's out there doing. I mean, it is incredible. Right. It is incredible what I he's agree. doing. But you know, the thing about it is, is, is the argument that we're having with Steph Curry giving them the accolades is the same argument they had last year. Because you think about it, everybody. It was Cleveland's year. Right. Cleveland was going to right. do this. So you got to get your first. You got to get your first title. Right. You got. I mean, my teams, uh, USC, the Lakers, we're used to winning. But you know you gotta allow people. A ch- there you go. That's what I'm talking. About. That's the appropriate music, Greg Holler. <laughs> I appreciate that. Even oh though, even though we're gonna make the the, you know, USC is gonna go to Jerry's World before you. No, uh, I'm getting even down though, to you better believe I'm getting down. <laughs> no, we're I told, playing in August. I, I, yeah, they're playing in August at Jerry's World. Who is uh, USC against Are Alabama? They? Is that right? Against Alabama. Oh, I don't know why they that. took that game. Oh, but I, I have no idea. I do. Hey, let me tell you uh, something. That's how you want to set it off. Nah, we don't. We want to amaze. See don't. where you at. But no, no. Nah, nah. I mean, you're talking about a team that's been the most dominant this decade. No, 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 no. We don't. We don't need that game. Man, let me tell you something. I, we said the same thing about them Centennial Huskies. Right. You got to go out there. But but I mean that's different. You, but you got Logan and you got history and tradition. You know what I mean? But, USC ain't got no. T- Man, cut this music off. Have you seen Have you seen USC lately, man? I, I know. Mean, hey, they, they, yeah. they look, I, I'm a USC fan. Hey, but you know you got Lynn Swan out there now. Yeah, absolutely. You I believe I mean? Carlton and Gold. Yeah. But I'm also realistic. No doubt, no doubt. But and, yeah, man, uh, we, uh, we're going to get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll just say that. So it, it's going down. It's IE Sports Now, Check this out, man. If you guys want to follow, uh, follow us and follow what's going on with us throughout the course of the week, I, I, you know, I welcome you guys. Check us out on social media. We're on Instagram. Uh... We're on uh, Twitter. Oh, we're on the Twitter. I got to turn my pants backwards. We right. got the crisscross 
uh, playing in the background. I got, I got to, I got to turn my pants around, man. But, <laughs> the miggity, miggity, Matt. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. But yeah, it's 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 going to be, uh, you know, and this is the one thing I love about sports. The, the debate is always there, and 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 once again, you know. I, when we go back to the NBA draft, I know we're jumping all over, but I want to talk about that draft because we that's enough with playoffs, man. It's not about the Lakers, so we don't need to talk about that, man. <laughs> but uh, I think that Mitch Kupchak has done an amazing job. I think he was handcuffed, um, and he wasn't able to do what he wanted to do. Had he pulled off that trade, that should have happened. Right. You know, with uh, you, Dwight Howard, the, the, the C- Kobe, and the CP3. CP3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that is one incredible team. Because you think about it, CP3, I think he would have the ego to stand up to Kobe. And CP3 is a ball-dominant point guard that's going to get the ball where it needs to go. I, I really like his game. He's, <clears throat> he's probably one of my uh, more favorite players because he, he got that Napoleon complex. He's always ready to fire. He plays with an edge, even against his boys. Mm-hmm. He always plays with an edge. I really like CP3 game, uh, I mean his game. I got to give another big shout-out. My man, uh, Lorenz Larkin, uh, the monsoon. From the bell town. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to get a little emotional. Uh, my man, when he wins, he pour, I mean, he always got the bell cut in his hair. Uh, MMA, uh, we're talking about none, none other than Lorenz Larkin uh, from the UFC. He has a, a premiere fight taking place at uh, on a, a, at Mandalay Bay at on Sunday, May 29th. Again, this is UFC Fight Night 88, and Lorenz Larkin is going to be right there, man. It's going to be he's on the fight card. Uh, it's going to be a huge fight, and uh, we got to make sure. We're, we're um, I spoke to him uh, last week. Uh, on Friday at the Glory 30, uh, this took place out here, and if, for whatever reason they called it Glory uh, 30 Los Angeles. I was really—that's the second time they did that, man. Right, right, uh, right. To, even though it took place in Ontario, but whatever. Um, but I, he said, "Hey, I'm gonna get him on the show. We'll talk about it again, Lorenz Larkin. We'll have him on the show next week, man." So there you go. That's good stuff, man. It's always good to see local kids that come back and do things within the community. Uh, of the Inland Empire. That's what we're here for. Like we always say, we are the Inland Empire Sports Authority. So in a recap today, we talked about the draft. Oh, yeah. We talked about them Lakers. We talked about the playoffs. We had the Rancho Cowboys in. And, and most important, we Rancho challenged. Rancho Belago. Rancho Belago. Most important, we challenged Petros and Money. Oh, yeah. So next week, we're shooting a video. Exactly. We're shooting a video, Co- uh, Coach B. So make sure, you know, so we might have to invite some guests down. The the uh, the Cowboys kind of sounded like they were ready to get out a little bit. Exactly. So we might we might uh we might put them in the video so exactly. they can be dancing. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, we getting down. It's exactly. Going, the the running man challenge, Coach B. So who, who do we challenge again, man? We we challenge Petros and Money, man. We, uh. we're, we're coming. They're they're from the uh, the Fox Sports out in L. A. Uh. So so Petros and Money, we're coming for you, man. Riverside, San Bernardino, connected Inland Empire, Running Man Challenge. It's out there, man. It's Absolutely. out there. It's on the airways. We're shooting a video next week. Absolutely. Let's get it in. And, and once again, before we get out of here, I know we got about a minute. Once again, Inland Valley Classic was an amazing success. Oh, man. Thank you to our sponsors, title sponsor, Boost Mobile. Yes, sir. Fontana Mayor Aquanetta Warren. Fontana POA. Fontana Police Officers Association. And Supervisor Janice Rutherford has attended the basketball game as man. well as the soccer game. And she said she's on board. Uh, next year to be a, a sponsor. So yeah, we're really excited that. about that. And again, big up to uh, uh, A.B. Miller High School, our guy, uh, Coach Romanelli, couldn't happen without his support. And uh, Christina Taylor. Christina, Miss, uh, Christina Taylor. Want to say, want to say, big up to her. And again, man, we thank everybody for all the support for our Sports Night. Absolutely. We will be back next week, so we appreciate you listening. So, you thank you for listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops right here. Live in the iHeart Radio Studios, Fox Sports 1350. So, I'm going out every weekend just to see my boo again. Listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. The home of the Cucamonga Quakes, Fox Sports 1350.